Okay, look, I've, I've, I've been busy. I've had a bit on today. Yeah, bit of oil on the lawn, mate. I just changed the oil in the exhaust <laughs> and it's just coming straight back out again. I just don't know what's going on with that. Holy shit. <laughs> Stop it. I've been on a roller coaster of emotions. I blew my turbo up. Have a look at this. She's pretty fancy. So that shaft that runs on's bent. The veins are all bent and snap. Housing's all chewed out. There's supposed to be a compressor wheel in there. There's uh, nothing anymore. Is that on the road now? <laughs> yeah, it'll be. It was just sitting like this. Uh, safe to say it went pop. How good has been my 2020 Ford Ranger? You like it? <laughs> You're the only person that could get yourself into this and know how to fix it. Kind of. <laughs> it's not good though. Not ideal situation. Is no, it? it looks tough without a front bar. <laughs> there you go. It does, I'll maybe just leave it off. So how, how you've spent all day in here doing this, trying to sort it? Most of the day, I had to clean the shed first. Oh uh, shit. Mm. Oh, brand new exhaust was on for like, what, three days? Now it's full of oil. Now it's full of oil. <laughs> it's going to be smoky for the next two years. Yep, frothing. I was driving, and I was like, going pretty hard, and then the computer was going, Danger to manifold, danger to manifold. So I slammed the laptop shut. The next minute my floor pan fell out and I was kicking it out. Oh wait, no, that was fast and furious. <laughs> my car maxed out at 160 this morning. I need more NAS. <laughs> I'm really exhausted this time. <laughs> That's not supposed to be in there. Holy shit. That's where it went. Holy, <laughs> is that a turbo? That's the impeller for the compressor wheel. <laughs> Oh, dude. Whoopsie. Psycho. <laughs> yeah, so basically that's the impeller of the turbo. It's just exploded and shot through the exhaust and it's bent the exhaust sensors that are in the pipe on the way past. Mental. <laughs> Definitely hit the NOS. It's not a good sign, is it, mate? Hey. That oil? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's turbo oil. Or something. What's the one where the, they follow the crumbs when they get lost? Turbo oil. Made a good mess. <laughs> on your nice lawn. <laughs> oh, we, we have a shot put oh, off. We can have a shot put off. So that one's further. a bit lighter, so I might go further because mine's heavier. Mm. Or is it the other way around? <laughs> Alright, this is what a Ford turbo is good for. <laughs> You're gonna go over the. Fence. You need a bit of a spin. <laughs> you start, you start back. Oh, you oh, messed up. Oh, yeah, bro. I watched the Olympics. Oh. So, he's over the line. He, nah, he's, he's run by default. Okay, so long story short, the tune that was run through this did not work, and the turbo exploded on Mac last night. Just all <laughs> down the exhaust now on the road. So, he's been here all day trying to just pull this apart and figure out how to go about fixing it and I gave Mac a camera earlier on so he could sort of document how today's been going so I'm going to roll you through that now and uh, kind of show you the roller coaster ride he's been, <laughs> been on. Well on the plus side at least one of the cars drives. Here we have one bucket of crap that doesn't drive anymore and one super reliable 59 Chevrolet. Just eat me donut make me feel better. We'll uh, get onto it and check out the uh, the jaw setup. Got some tools in there. We'll pull this cool pipe off. Hope to be able to drive it out the back. Nice. Got some tools in here. To be safe, guess I found a bit of metal in the hot side before the inner cooler pipe. A few little fragments, tiny ones. I'm gonna pull off the cold side pipe and then drive it around the back just to be safe. The cooler should have caught it all, but I'll have to flush that too. Well, that's the pipe coming off. So I'll pull this one off. That one down there. That's the turbo there. Goes to there. Now that one's off. Look at this guy. Surely it would go to an old car or something. He's still going. It's a lot of oil. 
Oh, great. Down in here. Get a, just out of the turbo and see if there's a, oh, yep. Bit of metal there. The turbo's cooked. First things first, get the cooler out. Flush that out. And get the turbo out, eh? I feel like I've done this before. <laughs> uh, try again. There we go. Cool as you come out now. That's pretty cool. Bump the turbo. Right, always put your bolts back where they came from. Or well, you're gonna have a bad time. Uh, one other thing. I've never pulled a turbo before. It's gonna be interesting. The cover is off. And there's the guy down there. Hello. Why are you not work no more? Why are you so broken? Way less fun filming yourself. Like, where's TJ and the boys? Bipolar today. Thought I'd be sad or happy. Hey, backups are on! Oh, God. And it's from Nissan! <laughs> Hello, mate, Lloyd. Well, I don't think there's anything. There's nothing in the back of there. There's right? nothing in the back of that turbo, eh? Hey? <laughs> <laughs> Oil and exhaust. Oh, look at them. Yeah, mate. Oh. Have you found the wheels? No, I haven't yet. The Navara expert helped not afford. <laughs> Yeah, right. What about the back? Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing. Woo! She poked. <laughs> <laughs> Big down the tools, mate. Oh, big down the tools. <laughs> really sad, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, to be completely honest, we've got the overnight parts from Japan just straight in. Overnight parts from Japan. <laughs> now, it is going to look like a standard PX1 turbo, which are the better turbo. Uh, but it's got machined out outlet port, larger belt wheel, 49.6 mil. Okay, here they are side by side. What are we talking? This is the stock one. Size different, not to mention the billet wheel in there. It's gonna be a lot stronger and better. I don't know a whole lot about turbos to be honest. This new one's from they're called M MTQ Engine Parts Australia. Quite clear with the billet wheel and the and the larger output size that it is uh, far from standard. So the tuners who tuned it went me halves in the new upgraded turbo. They sourced it, it's a good bit of gear that they use apparently. Heading down to Fat Pipes to see Les and Mitch. Help me out big time, they replaced my muffler that's now full of oil, stoked on that. But also, I've got a few dramas with the turbo studs. It's causing me dramas, so they're gonna put some new ones on for me. So, helping me out big time, boys. Cheers for that. Taking the race car over the Apache because she's a bit of a trek. And of course, no fuel. A lady's car. It'll never have friggin' fuel in it. Oh, oh fancy. Fancy. Oh. The old 0 to 100, a bit of a test, eh? I'm not gonna be able to run out of runway. Big Les, how are you, mate? <laughs> Sorting me out with some studs for our thing. Using the double lock nut method, I've installed the the studs on the back of the turbo. The manifold side already had one on it. Just got a new nut. The other ones, using the same method, are now on the exhaust manifold down there. Uh, turbo's ready to go in, I think. It only took me all day. Beauty. Oh, hey dudes and dudettes. Gonna load Jack Spammer's tunes on today. The exhaust is in, turbo's in, everything's plugged back in. Turbo's plugged back in. The laptop, plug that in, and then we'll turn the ignition on and load up some tunes. Thanks again, Jack's your legend. Resync the device, updates the Duba Wacky, loads up my new credits that I just put on. You have to buy credits to unlock your car. So this is technically day five. 
of fixing this turbo in his spare time, I must admit. Really only took him maybe a day or two to pull the whole truck apart and uh, get it back together and driving. Mac, he is a wizard, I could not do this. I don't know how he knows how to do all this stuff, but anyway. We're down here at ProCheck Automotive. The boys down here are gonna help out. They've told Mac, whack it on a dyno and see what kind of numbers it runs now. Got a new tune loaded on from Jack Spammer over there in WA. Thanks, Jax. Yeah, hopefully we get a nice, safe, bit more powerful tune and it's all fixed. Bigger turbo, happy days. <laughs> <laughs> I got all next week off. Do you? Let me unbag the Apache. Yeah, let me unbag the chef. Why not? Because most people take months to do that. Nah, just bang it out. Should be right. Five <laughs> days, easy done. <laughs> you are a tuner here, mate. Yep, I'm a tuner. Tuning, not cars, lifts. I'm a lift tuner, yeah. <laughs> The boys are going to watch that and go, you're an idiot. So, is that an MP300? So, yeah, Blue Line's MP300 in my car. Bye. Crazy life. Leave these things everywhere. <laughs> Sparky said. <laughs> How do you feel the MP300 just owns this on the power? Yeah, and he's got stock turbos and stock everything except exhaust. But you can't win them all. We have Jackson in Western Australia at the moment, modifying it. So we've sent him his dyno graphs, <laughs> and Jax is just making some changes, emailed it through and banging it on. Now, it'd be a lot easier and smarter to just get Shane to do it, but I didn't know Shane, and I'm not <laughs> trying not to waste, well, spend more money. <laughs> Basically, I'm being a tight ass trying to get out of a bad situation. I'd say that's a wrap anyway, like we've got up tune, it's working, it's safe. 200, 200 of the wheels, pretty good. Fixed in four days in your garage. Kind of. You just gotta have a go, boys. <laughs> just have a go. <laughs> if you fail, then pay someone. <laughs>